Sam Adams from your actions and also inaction. It has to be done now, Adams. If you actually are with the people and have good intentions and are a complete sellout, phony, or plant, you need to reverse your actions immediately and listen to the people. Of course, how many people are down there raising these concerns? That's the question we ought to ask ourselves. Moving forward to the situation in Vancouver. Vancouver City Council members will investigate colleague Jean Harris. She flips out at the no toll activists, only talk about city business, she says. She said that it's not city business, so did the mayor Levitt up there, who's also corrupt. He campaigned on the idea of no tolls. For a couple years, he became the mayor and immediately went forward with the program. You can watch these videos. Go to notolls.com or go to youtube.com slash notolls, and you can watch this outburst. There was also some infighting as well. Go through the pictures, guys. The eyes are the window to the soul. We could see how she was glaring, glaring at the no tolls activists. Flip through them all, Mike, in succession. So you get an idea. You read the body language, the glare, the stare, the mayor looking down, the finger pointing, the wild accusations. She was arguing with John Stewart. When John Stewart says, you can't tell those people to shut up, she snaps and says, yes, I can. We can do anything we want. You're only defending them because those are your supporters. And John Stewart's like, they aren't my supporters. I don't even know them. Just the, the glare. Do not let them intimidate you. I did not let Mayor Adams intimidate me. And he glared at me every second of my three minute presentation. Now I'm gonna go back Adams and we're gonna speak again. And we're gonna show this on Access and we're gonna highlight your facial expressions because the eyes are literally the window to the soul. This is why I want you to quickly, Mike, quicker than just go rapidly in succession, the eyes are the windows to the soul. So when you look at public officials, when you look at people in the media, look deep into their eyes and ask yourself what you see. These people can't be trusted. They're not building a global government for the good of all. These people are involved in genocide and they're building a new world order. Now God knows why they're really building a new world order. Some people believe the aliens or reptilians are at the top of it. I don't know. I, I would prefer to be somewhat agnostic on it, but I have my suspicions. But when you look at the eyes of these individuals, here's Glenn Beck crying. I think it was front page of Vanity Fair uh, a couple years ago. You can see, you can see what lies beyond. You can read and feel the energy signature, the coldness, the callousness, like a snake, like a robot. I mean, you look even deeper into the eyes of some of these individuals, the shade of emerald green in the eyes, the glare, the stare, that look of pure evil. You can pick up on the energy signature and the queen. The queen, of course, there's much that comes from this picture. These people aren't right, but that's why they're doing what they're doing. If they were right, if they did have a full consciousness, they would not be involved in what they're involved in. These deceptions on the people of the world, blacks, whites, Hispanics, this ongoing genocide taking place in Iraq and Afghanistan. By looking at the eyes, you can see much. Do we have any more? Here's Putin, lover boy. We've got some other, there's some interest, here's Harper president up there in Canada. There's our buddies at Big New Brzezinski. He made a video recently decrying the global awakening because it threatens the world order. They're freaked out, folks. They're freaked out. Here's our buddy, Billy. Billy, Willy, Billy. <laughs> Going to the next one. Oh, my old buddy, Michael Shirtoff. Dick Cheney. We've got more. Ah, Hillary. She's on some happy stuff. Hanging out the old OG New World Order Gangsta Players Ball. Ho! They're Netanyahu. OG, original gangsta. And of course, the devil salute. So moving forward. We have uh, several other headlines here. U.S. bails out major credit unions. Graphic number 44. 
Moving along to the next one, graphic number 45, dramatically poisonous economy headed to catastrophic collapse, says acclaimed economist. Claimed economist Manfred Max Neff said on Democracy Now! with Amy Goodman. He says that a more catastrophic crisis is unavoidable because our economic model is dramatically poisonous. Max Neff explains that greed is the dominant value today in the world. As long as that persists, we're done. But he doesn't just mean economically. He means as a species. And it goes on. So we have one economist talking about this rightfully from the perspective of we've got to stop being so greedy and obsessed with ourselves. Not just look for an easy, quick fix to what's going on. We talked about the top 100 things that you want to have in a crisis. This is something that you might want to look at in your own time. Graphic number 46. Intelligence report envisions designing humans with unique abilities under... <laughs> Global Governance Regime. Recently, a document was disclosed by the grace of the Freedom of Information Act entitled Global Governance 2025, a critical juncture. The document written by the American National Intelligence Council, NIC, and the European Union's Institute for Security Studies outlines the agenda from now to 2020 for global government. This is a very long report. It's 94 pages. Obviously, I can't speed read that. You might want to look at it in your own time. In the next headline, we can build whatever animal you want to eat, according to scientists. Graphic number 56. Very interesting revelation here. And it talks about the salmon. Genetically engineered salmon are on the way to our oceans and rivers. The FDA just passed this. We see graphic number 58. You went to appoint space ambassador to greet alien visitors. Okay, get ready for Project Blue Beam, the staged alien invasion. Go to the next graphic, Mike. And we see some other headlines as well. The next headline after that, rather. And we see here in this headline pertaining to the Air Force, Mike, if you can go to the next headline and continue in succession. Former Air Force officers, UFOs tampered with nuclear missiles. And it talks about uh, allegedly UFOs, deactivating nuclear missiles, so on and so forth. There's about five to six articles pertaining to some sort of disclosure coming from the official government sources. This is something to be highly suspicious of. You need to be able to see it with your own eyes. But the fact is, with holograms and things of that going on out there, satellites in space, it really raises the question. Can we trust our own eyes? And the answer is not in this day and age. This is one more headline we'll go over before we head out. This will take care of my five a day. Amateur gardener promises to share monster vegetables with neighbors. This is out of the UK Daily Mail. This is graphic number 65 and 66. Just something positive to leave you with, that we have the ability to grow great large fruits and vegetables by planting seeds. But in reality, we're planting seeds of consciousness on another level, hoping to sprout a whole new world, hopefully without a new world order. And that's the purpose of this show, to plant seeds. I'm, I'm glad you watched tonight. You can uh, help out uh, by emailing me. Wish me luck on my urban survival adventure over the course of the next week. Next week, we have a very special guest from South Africa. He'll be on the phone. His name is Michael Tellinger. The book is slave species. Until next week, I'm Alex Hanser reminding you that the path to the ultimate truth still starts in one place, and that's within. Take care. Good night. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Chris. Roll, Chris.